Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, is it worth it to buy a Clue the Board Game the Commander deck thing? I think it was Zagana in the breeding pool with the Ristic Study. Her victim obviously failed to pay the one. What? Zagana died in the story? Then it must have been Tessa in the godless shrine with the torment of hailfire. Say what? Her too? Oh, snap. What do you mean the main set doesn't even have shock lands in it? All right, let's talk about commander decks then, I guess. But with four commander decks to choose from, how do you know which one, if any, is right for you? Are there reprints of value? New card designs worth snatching up? Are these decks a good starting point for new players? How about experienced players? Is there anything in them for us? And most importantly, how well do these decks play? Yeah, magic is a game that's meant to be played. We'll be taking a look at all of that and so much more. It's what's in store, so let's take a look. Oh, and look at this. I'm giving away six booster boxes of original conspiracy, as well as six mystery commander precons to be discovered on the TCC conspiracy stream. I'm giving it all away on whatnot. Six booster boxes, six mystery commander precons. That's 12 prizes. And there's actually more than that because there's other surprises, disguises, cause it's conspiracy and magic cards of all sizes. I can't show you what commander decks I'm going to give away, but I'll, I've got six of them. I'm not gonna let it face the camera here, so you won't know. This is one of the six. It's not, you won't know, it's a mystery. The mystery. Oh, stream for you. The mystery stream prizes, 12 of them. Just tune in this February 8th at 4 p.m. Pacific after the Command Zone's giant giveaway stream for my next giant giveaway stream. It's two giant giveaway streams back to back, a double feature that doesn't suck. We got there, fam. Plus everyone who uses my code to create a new account will get $15 to spend on either stream or any stream. Just go to www.whatnot.com forward slash invite forward slash Tellarian College and you'll get your $15 credit and be all ready to win any one of these prizes from me or the command zone and you spend your $15 wherever you want. It's, it's a major giveaway. So see you there. We're gonna have a lot of boxes of conspiracy. I'm not going to make them knock over because these are actually really heavy. A Markov's at Karlov Manor commander deck contains the following. One ready to play right out of the box commander deck, which itself includes two foil legendary cards, as well as 12 brand new card designs. The remaining cards of the deck are all reprints and in non-foil. Also included is a quote-unquote deck box, a two-card collector booster sample pack, one life tracker, one thick foil etched display commander, and 10 double-sided tokens. While Wizards of the Coast does not reveal an official MSRP, the price on commander precons such of these is $40 to $45. It's worth noting that these commander decks come with 12 original card designs instead of the typical 10. I'm actually surprised there hasn't been more discussion about this, as it is a notable increase. As always, with new commander precons, there are some markups, but do not pay these, as there are many, many other commander precons Recon selling for $40 and under. I've actually compiled a lot of them at www.cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC, but wherever and however you buy your commander products, don't pay markups. So right away, we need to go over how these decks now come with 12 original card designs. Typically a commander precon has 10. So if I know my math, which I actually don't, but I checked with someone who does, that's a 20% increase in original card designs. Lost Caverns of Ixalan, Commander Precons notwithstanding, Commander Precon decks usually just don't have much in the way of reprints, and most of their value is tied up in their original card designs, so knowing that these new Commander decks have more original card designs than normal is pretty exciting, especially since these cards were made specifically with Commander in mind and don't have to worry about Standard and Draft. But wait, did I just say that Lost Caverns of Ixalan Commander decks were the exception to the rule when it came to reprints because 
Uh, these decks are pretty heavily packed with some amazing reprints as well. All right, I'm just gonna say it here. Deadly Disguise has Jessica's Will reprinted in it. That's right, the ubiquitous and once highly priced Jessica's Will is down to a still pretty high price of just under $20 thanks to the reprint here. And I couldn't be happier about a card like this being reprinted in a commander deck. But Deadly Disguise also has $15 range reprints like Seedborn Muse and $10 ones like Neheb the Eternal and Toski Bearer of Secrets. What a list. There's even cards like Three Visits, Beast Whisperer, and Nature's Lore rounding out the bottom of the reprint list. Deadly Disguise is also perhaps the most unique of the four precons. It's a Naya deck built around face-down mechanics. This includes the new Disguise mechanic as well as the older Morph and Manifest mechanics. Oh, and Megamorph, I guess. Besides all the Morph and Morph-adjacent creatures, the list includes two primary things. Payoffs for flipping your creatures face up, and payoffs for creatures with power two or less. Since morphs are 2-2 two -two creatures, that makes a whole lot of sense. One potential choke point I found with this deck is how much mana it costs to flip over some of these creatures. The face commander does help a little bit with that, but of course it has to be in play. Cost Eyes of the Glade has an activated ability that turns over an attacking face-down creature you control. It also has the distinction of being one of only 10 cards in all of Magic that's three colors and two mana value. That's welcome here as cost can be deployed a little early so that you can make good use of your disguised attackers. Deep Clue C is the Merfolk deck, and wait a minute, that's not a Merfolk. The Dalkin Fish Detective? Who designed this? Gavin? Was Gavin in charge of these commander decks? Ugh. Gavin Verhe will literally create fish detectives before he gives me a Merfolk Matters commander in Bant. I've been writing him letters for you anyway. This deck is really packed with reprints, as Coma Cosmos Serpent, Adrix and Nev Twin Casters, Benny Brax Zoologist, were all $15 and up cards prior to their reprinting here, and are actually maintaining pretty close to that range, as you'll see in a moment. But there's also great includes like Chulane, Teller of Tales, Farewell, and even cards like Wilderness Reclamation, Hydroid Crisis, and Finale of Revelation adorn this deck. Deep Clue C is a Bant deck that's all about clue tokens and investigating. The deck has three primary themes, tokens, artifacts, and drawing cards. The goal is to generate tons of clues with cards like Adrix and Nev and Erdwall Illuminator, and then eventually go over the top with payoffs like Junkwinder and Academy Manufacturer. All of the clues in this deck are great for triggering permanents that care about drawing your second card each turn, including, of course, the deck's non-Merfolk commander, Morska Undersea Sleuth. I'll talk more about this in detail in a moment, but this is definitely the deck that I'd recommend to more advanced players, as the construction of this deck is really top-notch, and you can accomplish a lot if you know what you're doing. One of the most notable reprints is that of Fiendish Duo in the Blame Game deck. Previously only available in the Game Night 2019 box set, and as a Japanese store foil promo that was next to impossible to get. Fiendish Duo was going for somewhere around $35 to $38 before it was announced as a reprint. And though it's now significantly fallen, its inclusion here is nonetheless extremely welcome, as is the inclusion in this deck of comeuppance, seeing its first reprint since its original printing in Commander 2014, another card that was going for over $15 each and has now dropped down to the $10 range. There's other great reprints, such as Lauren of the Third Path, Brash Taunter, Ghostly Prison, and a lot of other nice includes we will cover in just a moment. The Blame Game deck plays fairly straightforward. It's a Boros deck that messes with the combat step. This is mostly accomplished via the Goad mechanic, but the deck has a few other tricks up its sleeve to manipulate who your opponents are attacking. Spells like Rite of the Raging Storm and Frontier your warmonger ever so gently encourage your opponents to attack each other, while protection like Windborn Muse and Ghostly Prison disincentivize them from hitting you. The face commander of this deck not only goads every time she attacks, but also draws you a card whenever your opponents hit each other in the face. And don't forget that the suspect mechanic turns off the target's ability to block as well, removing one potential counter to being goaded.
Revenant Recon has, oh my god, Necromancy. They are literally reprinting Necromancy in a Commander deck. This is Necromancy's first non-list reprint since its original print in Visions, and notably the first print with modern frame and oracle text. This was a card in the $30 range prior to being announced as a reprint here, and it's still holding at just under $20, alongside reprints like Rise of the Dark Realms, another card that was in the $20 range prior to its announcement here, Rian animate Phyrexian Metamorph, there's Toxic Deluge. What a great selection of reprints. Even at the $5 level, cards like Animate Dead, Grave Titan, keep this deck's reprint value very worthwhile. As far as gameplay, Revenant Recon is a Demir deck that focuses on the surveil mechanic, allowing you to look at a number of cards and put any number of them in your graveyard. It's a pretty powerful surveil deck, and as the aforementioned inclusions of Necromancy, Animate Dead, and others might have hinted, it has a lot of ways to get value from the graveyard. Its face commander not only gets bigger when you surveil, but brings back progressively larger creatures with his end step trigger. There's also surveil payoffs like disinformation campaign and just enormous creatures to reanimate like Grave Titan and Massacre Worm. Another really solid constructed deck with great reprint value. So how do these new card designs and impressive reprints affect the overall value? Let's take a look at financial analysis. If you were to purchase all of the singles for these decks at the lowest possible price, as of the filming of this video, one day prior to release, for each deck you would have to pay $144.15 for Blame Game, $149.33 for Deep Clue C, $152.40 for Revenant Recon, and $113.39 for Deadly Disguise. Okay, but these are 100 card decks, remember, and even cards that are worth 70 to 90 cents adds up when there's a hundred of them. So what if we were to eliminate all the bulk? Let's look at the real meat on the bones for these decks and ignore all cards that aren't worth at least a dollar. Even with eliminating all the bulk, Blame Game has still got 30 cards at or above a dollar each, retaining an overall value of $130.17. Of course, that value is going to drop once these go on sale tomorrow, or I guess today, the day that you're watching this video, and they will continue to drop over the next week as prices adjust, but it does indicate the quality of reprints and new card designs somewhat. Again, top of that list, Fiendish Duo, but also new designs like Trouble in Pairs. There's really a lot of cool things here. Deep Clue C, in contrast, has 31 cards worth a dollar or more for a total of $133.87. Top of that list are cards like Adrix and Nev, Benny Brax, and Coma Cosmos Serpent. There's also a lot of notable cards at the lower end of the reprint list. While this doesn't quite have the explosive card of a fiendish duo, it has several really moderately priced reprints, though maybe not so much in terms of new card designs. Revenant Recon has 33 cards worth of value of a dollar or more, bringing with it $141 of non-bulk value. Top of that list, understandably, is Necromancy, followed by the incredible reprint of Rise of the Dark Realm, and reanimate. Again, despite having original designs in this deck, most of these top value cards are reprints. Really happy to see these reprints in a pre-con, especially things like Toxic Deluge and Phyrexian Metamorph. Finally, Deadly Disguise only has 25 cards worth a dollar or more, bringing with it a value of $95.62. Jessica's Will is of course top of that list, and Seedborn Muse and Neheb are nothing to sneeze at, but value starts to drop off after Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Remember as always that these prices are likely to go down and go down fast after release, but also remember that financial value is not the only thing that might make these decks worth it. I discussed the overall deck strategies at the start of this video, but which of them do I think is the best? In my testing, both in playing these precons against one another and in pods with average commander decks, I have a tie between two for my first pick, Deep Clue C and Blame Game. 
I would actually recommend Blame Game to anyone new to either Magic or even the Commander format, as its straightforward aggro nature makes it a lot easier to pilot, but the goad mechanic keeps your opponents from attacking you. Deep Clue C really is the overall most powerful of the four, but you're gonna need an experienced player to get the most value out of it. Looking for something for a friend who hasn't played Commander? Grab him the Boros deck. Looking something for yourself, possibly to upgrade, or just to get some games in with friends who mostly use precons? Then Deep Blue C would be my advice. None of this is to say that Revenant Recon or Deadly Disguise are bad decks, far from it. They're what I would pick as my second choice, and I had a lot of fun playing with both of these in my usual testing situations. I just really feel out of the four, if we're talking a new player's first commander deck, then Blame Game is an obvious choice, and that anyone already established in Commander is probably going to get their most value out of Deep Clue C at the commander table. You know, honestly, the most common question I get asked is not even, is it worth it to buy a Commander Precon, but usually it's which Commander Precon is the right one to buy, the best one to buy, and I stand by my belief that, while certainly some Commander Precons over the years are stronger than others, there have really only been a select few that I would classify as outright duds. In other words, financial value aside, Buying a Commander Precon as an entryway to the format is a pretty safe bet. So if you or your friend is brand new to Commander, look not only at these new releases, but the library of Commander decks that are still selling for $40 or less and just pick out one that uses colors or mechanics that you or your friend will love. Or maybe even just has a flavor, such as who the Commander is or what creatures or spells are in that deck. Something that excites you. You can't go wrong when you do this. I even have a huge collection of commander decks for less than $40 on my landing page at cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC. If nothing else, you can go there just to see which decks are still going for $40 or less, and then check out your local game stores for good values and act accordingly. I mean, they also have booster boxes of Ravnica Remastered for $139 right now, but that is another video. Final conclusion, all four of the Markovs at Karlov Manor Commander Precons are worth it, provided of course you are not paying a markup above the $40 to $45 range. These decks are very well constructed and include a great assortment of reprints of value. Just about any of these decks makes a perfect pickup for those that are established in Commander or those looking to get into the format, and the overall grade is an A-. I guess you could say it's no mystery that Commander Precons still remain some of the best products in Magic the Gathering. Provided, of course, that you say it with me now, don't pay markups. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. Remember that I am giving away six booster boxes of Original Conspiracy plus six mystery Commander Precons next Thursday, February 8th at 4 p.m. Pacific on my WhatNot stream. This is all part of a double feature, the good kind with the Command Zone, so you can tune in early to Jimmy and Josh, maybe win their giveaways, so many giveaways, or just enjoy the Game Night's watch party that they're doing and then stick around for the TCC Conspiracy. Hmm, which Commander decks am I giving away? Well, you better tune in to find out. Thank you, Whatnot, for sponsoring this video. Oh, and if you use the code, you get $15. It's $15. You spend it on magic. It's like some... It's $15. You know what money is, right? Oh, you're magic players. Maybe you don't. Ask your parents. <laughs>